what the sea forecast says. It's more like three to five. Light chop is completely out of the question. This is miserable. I don't even think this video does it much justice. This is terrible. It doesn't. The video does not do us any justice here. We are in fact not headed to Miami today. It's a wee bit rough. We've had banks break over the top of our deck. I've gotten wet in the helm and I'm about 12 foot above the sea surface. Sea surface? Our but, couch uh, in our room is soaked. <laughs> water's coming in the hatches. Uh, not a good day for sailing. We're going to go back and anchor. Um, and we'll try again. Try again tomorrow. Me. Safely back at anchor. So, we wake up this morning. I'm still trying to wake up. Um, it was storming really bad last night. And uh, Brian was anchored right next to us. And he went to go home. But because the storm was so bad, he stayed on our boat. And then we wake up this morning. And his boat is gone. It drug. Um, they think... They know where it drug. They're driving out there, but uh... Brian's boat started out right around here, and then it drug all the way over here. Luckily, it got caught on a crab pod. So new problem, Jaden just went to go pick up Brian and his dinghy and it's out of gas. So Randy's gonna go grab Jaden. Uh, Brian. We are preparing for a storm that's coming in. It should be here, I think tomorrow night. It's gonna be like 35 mile an hour winds. So, uh, we're just putting everything away. We let some more anchor chain out. And just hope we're going back, I guess. Um, it's just supposed to be high winds. There's going to be rain for a couple days. Uh, probably trapped inside our boat for a while. But we're just getting prepared. I heard a really weird noise. And I went to go look. Sushi fell in the water tonight. But he got out successfully by himself. Randy had to go pick up a gas can that flew out and floated off out that way. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. This is scaring me. Come on, Cruz, go inside. Holy crap. That is daddy. Oh my God. After risking my life, I was able to save 35 bucks. Woohoo! <laughs> so the boat that we ran into when we drug decided that um, today was a good day for sailing.
I, I don't really know why. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't have chose a day like today. We did I, send a, talk to him slightly on the radio. I couldn't really hear what he was saying, but sounds like they're okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe they just went a little bit up and found a little shelter cove to get into or something. But uh, I mean, I hope they found... So, uh, after risking my life for a cheap-ass gas can, my wife decided to not film the entire time. I thought that I was recording no and I wasn't recording. <laughs> so, when we don't have content, that is who to blame. Okay. <laughs> the wind is, is still some point it was coming from this direction now it's going from that direction it's going to come its way all the way around until it's coming in there, there it fell over um, this gas pile is going crazy it's getting nuts you guys Brian's going to go move his boat a little bit our skiff keeps bashing into our boat so we need to let it out also brian's pretty close so should i would grab your anchor right there try to grab it lift it up huh try to grab it lift it hey i'm out of here Excuse my shirt being completely see-through. It was really rough seas and I didn't have much choice. The engine's overheating. I think we're stuck now. Well, now we're all dry and uh Teddies are put away. Brian didn't drag, but we did. <laughs> I think uh what happened is we we when we swung around um our anchor flipped or something and then we ended up dragging another boat drug too. So they're all situated now as well. Crazy. All day Saturday, more so in the afternoon and evening when the threat is there. You saw from that graphic just before uh, you tossed it over to me, Rick, a lot of rainfall out ahead of the storm, and we're going to see that kind of moving into our coastline beginning uh, tomorrow evening, but we'll have rain before that. Now, the palm fronds are moving. Yes, small craft advisories, boating not recommended. We have gale warnings offshore, meaning winds up to 50 miles an hour. Could be tough for some of the cruise ships trying to come back home, too, on Saturday. I know that's a lot of return time destinations Saturday and Sunday. Showers and isolated thunderstorms are going to begin tomorrow. Already starting to pop up some showers down to our south into Charlotte Harbor. Now, this is going to change and vary, obviously, depending upon where the low develops and moves. Now, the low is in the process of getting organized right now, but will be organized by sunrise tomorrow as it moves toward us. Now, two to four inches of rainfall possible. A lot of that's going to come down heavy at times, which will cause some localized flooding. So, during these storms, I think in the afternoon and evening especially, it's not advisable to be out there driving at that time. Now, some coastal flooding, that's the next issue that we're going to deal with after the heavy rainfall. That'll happen late on into Saturday night, but more so Sunday morning. 
when the tides will be running high. Here's your severe weather risk. This has gone up too. Uh, to level two on a level five, you can see a slight risk for tornadoes. Uh, that is on the low end, maybe one or two, a couple of water spots, not out of the question. Uh, there's the heavy rain in areas, plus two inches, high winds with some of the storms, uh, some of them, uh, we'll see winds up to 50 miles an hour. And that coastal flooding is uh, a problem, I think, especially in Manatee County. The low pressure is right here. It's being sheared a lot. A lot of the action well east of the center as it moves into our direction. Right now, I mentioned the light rain down to our south. It's already starting. We're not expecting a lot of rainfall this evening. If you have plans, shouldn't be a big issue. The winds will be. Uh, the big storms come tomorrow. More on that in just a few minutes. Rick? People have been dragging all night. Had to go out a couple times. Looks uh, we have drug a couple times. I do have 280 feet of chain out now. I don't think we're going to go any further. Um, currently, we are about 45 mile an hour winds, about 40 knots. Um, pray for us. When we first started thinking about doing this whole boat thing. I was doing a lot of research trying to find uh, like storms or you know what people do um, because I was like th that was the thing I was the most terrified about was being caught in a storm on a boat and what do you do? So here we are caught in a storm on our boat um, they're saying that it's like a cyclone right now. We are on anchor. Uh, we've drugged multiple times. Other boats have drugged multiple times. Um, it's pretty scary. It was a rough, rough night to say the least. Uh, we drug a lot. Um, it was too dangerous for Ryan to dinghy back to his boat so he couldn't go back to his boat um and i mean the winds were outrageous it was it was terrifying last night we were all pretty scared the kids slept really well but uh we were really scared excuse my hair uh i haven't done anything with myself we finally get to see the sun and the water looks a lot calmer um so Brian was like out there, ah, out there, maybe even more over this way. Uh, last night he drug uh, from there as we did. We're in the lanes right now, but he drug, 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 drug. Um, that is Brian's boat. Uh, it is beached uh, on some rocks. He is over there right now with Randy, checking everything out, seeing uh, what the damage is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here's some manatees. There's two. Cruz, manatees, look, right manatees. there. Stand up. 